let's jump in. Continue game. Twitch, yes. Wait, who's... Who the oh, is this one person who was on the winning team last time? So I have to play as them? I mean, that's fine. Whatever. So, we are the... Oh, no, I can't interact with this. This should just load the next game, I think. Or not. I guess this is who I'm playing as. Because this is the person who killed me. Just do new. But how are we supposed to join... Like, it wouldn't continue the story then. Although, hang on. Yeah, then we would have different groups and whatnot, I suppose. See, look, yeah, it knows who's the seconds. No, well, three each seems fair. We got any latecomers? Well, we're, we're gonna have a bunch of latecomers because it's right at the start of a stream, but... Back in Team Purple. Alright, again, you can join in progress. You don't need to do it just here. You're playing as the... Yeah, I know I am, because my character died. That's fine. All that means is I ultimately win every game because I get to play as the successor. Oh, there we go. See, Dynasty event. The sky is dark with fly. Oh yeah, that's because we released a demon. Uh, there's shells again. So that lived its usefulness. It's time to banish it back to the Seven Hills before you no longer have a kingdom to rule. Expect no help from the church. That makes sense. Hire a wizard, beg the church, sacrifice a herd of eastern cows, or send the nor uh, didn't the northerners get wiped out by giants? I mean, I have no real preference, Starvolt. Choose what you will to get rid of the, the plague of flies that was used to kill everyone. You don't have plots yet unless those continue over. If this ends super quick, we will just start like a fresh, brand new dynasty. And we'll bring in one of the other factions. Alright, so hire a wizard. Hello, Mixer. There goes a big chunk of the, the funds. The black clad wizard throws in filthy rats scurry about her feet. Oh, that, that, they seem very trustworthy, yes. Okay, give me three weeks, I'll send the Queen of Corruption back where she belongs. Okay. And then she only needs two weeks, though her battle lays waste to several vital resources. Oh. Didn't that say trade would go up? Trade went down. I feel like, the, yeah, the, there's more land up here now, as in, like, controlled by the dynasty. The path to victory. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Um, let's go for... Military. We're playing as a villain. They did kill me. Once you have an era, we'll discuss your ambition. Okay. And our coronation. Oh, meet the new boss. Is that an achievement for carrying on a game? Yeah, continue your dynasty for the first time. It's not really my dynasty when it's the person that killed me. Uh, should I get changed into my waterproof robes then? It yeah, may be for the best. Require that everyone wear black and listen to dreary eastern music. Proceed with a religious ceremony that honours the ninth god. Throw the queen into the river or troops shall bear the queen through the streets atop a shield. Um, my preferred option would be that one. I can't help but notice that a lot of people are immediately voting for the throwing into... Everyone is voting for throwing into a river. <laughs> Not one person didn't vote for that?
I see. Stability is now civil, but authority is dubious. What kind of ceremony is that? <laughs> Did you see that, Zack? Thank you, Andromeda Galaxy, for using your Twitch Prime for the third time. Just in time for the end of the first season. Chief of the North, you all got wiped out by your own giants, apparently. Oh, so Team Blue, if you're in Team Blue, this is you picking your, your first main goal. Only Team Blue can vote. So if you have the extension open, it'll remind you if you're Team Blue. Somebody's gonna have to vote. You want to be a bunch of faithless he faithless heathens? I approve. Okay, you have your scheme. Find the legendary horn and use it to take over the kingdom. Lower the combined total of all regions' faith to twelve or less in four seasons. Currently, it's five, six. It's currently it's already that. So you're doing well. We put Queen Matilda on the throne, but she seems to have forgotten that already. Don't you think I'd make a better ruler? Odin, but spelt like O-D-O-N. Team Purple, pick your plot. I think Blood Ritual was what they used last time, just for the record. Ascension it is. Whatever that means. Secret cult and offer her immortality in exchange for the throne. Oh, huh, okay. Lower faith to four or less in three seasons. In just their region? Because if so, they already have. Yeah, yeah, they have. I see. And this is the new person down in the Patricians. If you're in Team Green, pick your plot. Yeah, this game, well, it's because I selected to continue the Dynasty, not start a new one. We will start a new one at some point, because there's other factions we can include instead of these three. But this is a direct continuation. I'm playing as the person who led the team that killed me last time. I'm not playing as my character. Yes, yeah, so you go over to part. I, I think I had Valinar sacrificed or something, so he's Valinar the second. He deserved it, to be fair. So you're just after money! Privatize the entire damn kingdom. <laughs> okay. Raise trade to five or more in four seasons. Well, you're currently at seven, so again, you're already there. Yeah, okay. The monarch has no heir, yeah. Pirates? Can't read that. I'll press on it then, because I have no idea what it is. Oh, an invitation. Talking to Serenity. Oh, the Winterfest again. Um, I'm declining. I don't trust them. Alright, we need to have our honor guard, of course. Last time I got my honor guard killed by a werewolf. Hello, Maledictum. The queen knows better than anyone else. Okay. From danger and improper grammar, says Willie. Um, I've made my decision. I will have... Mm, I'll have foreign mercenaries because I don't trust any of you. Yep, that's oh, that's from one of the other playable kingdoms, I think. The Battle Bitten Brethren. Brethren. <laughs> and speaking of pirates, Ooh, Grumpy Jelly is here. Pirates have been plaguing the coast's ocean trade routes. Killed a crew. Oh, and 
And Grumpy's personal wealth went to zero, but it was already at zero. It can't go any lower. Treasury too low. Uh oh. Order the Coast Navy to patrol the sea routes, or there's nothing to be done. I have no preference. A lot of people trusting in the dice roll, huh? That's 40%, so that means 60% that it's going to be a bad result, I guess. Okay, well, we're going to find out, because it's doing it. Oh, they succeeded. Defiance dropped by two, the military dropped by one, trade went up by one, which is what you wanted. Okay, they're swinging gently from trees. Who's that up there? Alright, first auction. This is where you can bid an amount of money. Each side has two buildings they could build. It tells you what effects they would have. Only the two buildings that get the most donations from the money of your personal wealth here will get built. I have no control over this. There's how you do it up there. Are you funding Raising Faith by a thousand? Didn't you want a lower faith? Oh wait no, you wanted a combined total faith, didn't you? That's right. These are, oh, no, D, oh no, no, okay, last minute vote. Still got 20 seconds, but something just came in under the wire. A grand bazaar for the patricians. Ten seconds. Oh, looks like Team Blue's out of luck unless Valinar decides to open his purse. There you go. How do you get funds? I think you just get given them from events in every new season or something. Okay, so an observatory has lowered faith for the counts and the patricians have gone up again in trade. They're, they're getting wealthy. But only because Tooth Grand was sunk into it. Finding a spouse. Let's do my own thing first. Married to the Counts as we agreed before he took the throne, right? Right? <laughs> a ghoulish problem. That's a new background. The people have lost their faith and the churches are being left to crumble. Without priests to perform rites, the dead are rising. As ghouls from their abandoned crypts, there have been nine attacks in the last week alone. The dead are rising! The dead are rising! Okay. Send more priests, cremate bodies instead of burying them, hire adventurers to eradicate the ghouls, or employ the ghouls as a source of cheap labour. I see. Uh, I'm going to veto this choice, because that would get me too close to being penniless. <laughs> You're trying to employ the ghouls as a of cheap labour? You're trying to uh, third Romero zombie movie it, to train the zombies to be human again. Oh, it's a draw. I get to pick. Hmm. I mean, I've got to see how this plays out. It succeeded. The most genius Eastern mercenary, um, sorry, merchants set their minds to finding a use for the walking, snarling, biting dead. It proves this difficult to teach them shoemaking and embroidery. There's a complete non-starter. Well, what did they learn? Because it's successful. In the end, the best use for ghouls turns out to be chaining them inside a giant wheel and using them to power a mill. They're slow but tireless. Who cares if a few farmers get bitten once in a while? 
Oh, 10 is as high as the stat will go. Of course, the Archbishop decries it as an abomination and an offence to the ninth. But he says the same thing about tea on Wednesdays. Where's... Oh, is that all the options? No, there's one hiding somewhere, isn't it? Oh yeah, tie's trouble. I was looking past it. God, the Archbishop will not leave me alone. How dare they forget their duties to the... Uh, what's a tithe? They're obligated to donate an eighth of their monthly income to the church. I'm not a debt collector. Hmm. Go away, you irritating old fart. I told the Archbishop to eat pant. Oh, I get to tax one of you. Um... I will tax the pirates. They're too wealthy for their own good. I think when it's tax season, that's when you update, or your money is updated. Let's see the algebra bachelors. Scald. Son of Serenity. The eldest son of Danger Rob. Snooty expression. Okay. Dimitri, the wealthy heir of the Don Dombre's estate. I think I picked the wrong option there. By picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions. But you'll gain a lifelong alliance. Hmm. The East. A contentious sale or a call for apprentice. Apprentices, sorry. A meddling wizard had set up shop in Skullheim. It's Brst, the Lord of Bells. They wield untold power, blah 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 blah, yeah. Bzzzt has influence over sound and its counterpart, silence. Okay. Trolls of unwashed glory seeking common folk from over the north are lining up for their chance to be his apprentice. Oh, but so is also the Don Donbury. I see. So we don't like the wizards. Then we shall assemble the council. Allow Don Tornbury to become Brzzt's apprentice. Require he forfeits his noble title in order to become the apprentice. Or forbid him from travelling to Skullheim. I don't know how this is going to play out, so let's just let it go to vote. Oh. I, I see. Bit unanimous then, huh? It's literally unanimous. Okay. So they're enraged. Cordial. Grumbling. <laughs> what if he passes his apprenticeship? There's never been a wizard in court before. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Brr, 
Bruce's present in Skullheim attracts all sorts of visitors, though the power of their latent magic starts to wilt crops for miles around. Trade is struggling and farming is meagre, although the trade actually went up. This is an outrage Lady Patrician um, Andromeda Galaxy is trying to steal my bear. I thought that said beer. Did you say bear? It's not his bear. I was about to buy this beast from an adventurer. Okay. Tell me more about this bear. A great addition to my menagerie. I suppose this is a matter for the council. If it's sacred, Maledictum should have the bear. Lady Patrician could have the bear, or encourage a bidding war between the two nobles. I have no preference, it's to the vote. A bit more split this time. I didn't actually spot the, both those options take away some of my money, but there was no avoiding both of them. Andromeda wants a bear! <laughs> and it looks like you're getting it. Did you see that, Zack? I did. Welcome back, Yoshi. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime for the 78th time. Defiance went down. Maledictum's wealth has decreased by a two, uh, two thirds. Or no, three quarters. I can count. The patricians aren't too happy. They're insolent now. The bear turns out to be a fearsome bright white fur. And she's vast! <laughs> That's a very polite way of saying that that bear has junk in its trunk. She's transported north slowly and carefully sedated by special herbs. Chief Maledictum is delighted. Faith can't go any lower. Hiding from the church. No one dares even glance in their direction. Okay, there's other people in chat. They're rejecting the ninth god. Trade is dominant. But Liemi's here too. If the queen grows proud, we can offer her the ultimate reward, immortality. For your next stage of a scheme, authority has to be five or more, and it's currently three. So you have to help me get my authority up. Uh, let's see. Oh, that would be fun. That would be more fun than useful. I'm going to adopt that one just because it's fun. On the verge of a rebellion. The royal something. Oh, right, the wedding. Okay, we're standing in the cathedral. Lord's Defiance, this is all good, yes. Now get out of my business, you old fart, etc. What a wonderful occasion, a shame we had to see all those filthy peasants lining the streets. I uh, hope you're not feeling homesick already. Okay, fair enough. What are your thoughts on the state of the kingdom? Changes the topic to talk about something he's more interested in. Oh, a good book! That's so interesting! I hope that sarcasm was implied. Okay, self-obsessed, I get it. A mercantile complaint or a taste... Oh, this isn't going to be eating the ghouls, is it? I don't mean to exaggerate, but I believe I have pioneered... Oh, it's going to be eating the ghouls, isn't it? Someone to bring me something to eat that was both tasty and convenient, as my hands were occupied, brought me something that would change the world. Sounds like your servant invented it. My servant, he's my employee, so I own the idea. That's partially true. A plate? Atop the plate are two slices of bread with a piece of meat wedged between them. He's invented the sandwich. Bread serves as an impregnable banner, uh, barrier 
preventing one's hands from being besmirched by meaty juices. <laughs> Astonishing. I propose we name it after me. In a few years, I expect everyone to be enjoying a nice Soul Food 777 for lunch. The innovation cannot be made available for free. Every time it's consumed, I expect a small royalty. Given the royalties they deserve, no, it's too delicious to be controlled. A one-time reward, or the servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? We're going to do anonymous voting on this one, and just see what happens. You're not going to be able to follow what Valinar votes for. Oh wait, yes, you, what's the point of anonymous voting? I just realised you can just look at chat. I didn't think that through, really. I don't think they thought that through. What's the point of that? None of you are allowed to look at chat while anonymous voting is ongoing. So, eight nobles voted. Oh, I guess it hides from me unless I look at chat. Yeah. So I don't know who's, like, conspiring, I guess. But then why would I actively use it? It's a bit weird. Personal wealth went up to 1750. Treasury went down to 1050. Okay. It proves a massively popular luncheon. Bakeries spring up across the east, experimenting with new ingredients. Turns out you can put almost anything between the two breeds of breads. 10 trade and 10 farming. The east do be wealthy. Yeah, but if I don't look at chat, then what's the point of, like, deliberately hindering myself, was my question. It's a monopoly. Oh, the merchants have a, a moan about monopolies, I see. Monopoly? It sounds like good business. Or demand the treasury get a taste of the bribes, or declare the exclusive charter null and void. Uh, I'm gonna veto this one. You can't vote for B. Because the treasury is getting a little thin. It's a draw so far. The exclusive charter is null and void. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. They lost money! They're still a monopoly though. Oh wait, no, sorry, the patricians are a mo monopoly now as well, never mind. And that is it for another season. Oh, it looks like the North has forwarded their plots. This is the most bountiful spring in living memory. Farming is now needful. Okay. He's pointed us to his horn. It's far north in the icy, ice giant's territory. For the next change, the next change, the next stage, their military needs to be five or more, and it's currently already five or more. Establishing a monopoly, so they've moved their scheme on too. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Oh, well, there you go, you just got your money back. Time to start buying things. Land, roads, bridges. Okay, to advance our scheme, lower the treasury... Oh, damn it. It's already less than 1500. This is going well. Everyone is on step two. Can't read that. Wait, shark attacks again? Didn't we have that one last time? Oh, the bear's hungry. Trade has gone up to four. Excellent news. Uh, time for the real question. Is she adorable and fluffy? She's the avatar of one of our most powerful deities. Is that a yes? But yes, she is very fluffy. 
She's eating a lot. Our hunters have to push into the frozen waste to find enough food to go around. The farming just went back down. Perhaps a bear would do better in a nice cosy menagerie. Mmm. Treasury is too low. And demand that other nobles donate their crops, leave the chief to feed their own bear, or transfer ownership to Andromeda. Eh, I'll just make it a, a, anonymous for no reason. Here we go. It's cocaine bear. That's the real reason they want it. It's carrying the drugs. Yeah, it looks like you're getting the bear. Stability goes down though. Oh wait, no, that's authority you wanted anyway. Actually no, you wanted treasure then. The counts wanted authority up. Not our bear! How could you do this to us? Riots break out across the north. This time she's increasingly impatient and eats one of the guards along the way. Hopefully she'll settle in more comfortable when she gets used to the menagerie. Um... I don't think you were a skeleton last time I saw you. Why is there a skeleton in front of me? It's me, the Don Tombry. I lost my skin in an accident involving a giant bell not three weeks into my training with Bzzz and now they cast me out. They, ha they say I have no discernible magic acumen, whatever that means. I demand vengeance. Um, do nothing. Demand compensation, arrest him for skeletonization. Or a skeleton cannot be Lord Patrician, the Don Tombri's lands must be forfeit. Uh, I'm going to veto the 10% roll because it's, you're all going to vote for it and it's not going to work. Ah yes, if the treasury gets more money, green team is screwed a little bit. Guess you'll have to give me some money. What's a draw? I get to pick. I could also deliberately lower authority in order to stop team purple. But I want the monies. A skeleton cannot be a lord, Patrician. You're fired. Clean out your skeletal desk. What? I was not aware nobility required skin. This is daylight robbery. <laughs> be gone, skeleton man. The skeleton continues shaking and rattling in anger all the way back to the coast where they conveniently kicked the bucket not long after. As it turns out, proximity brute's magic was the only thing keeping him quote unquote alive. Well, Tom Brady died. You didn't even get paid for your bear? It was not your bear. It was the land's bear. Yeah, so this is the same event we saw last time. You can't close my beach! We opened the tourist attraction last time. Let's just take it to the vault. And my monarch's choice is going to be... Keep the beach open because it's just a flat out bad choice. You paid 750 for that bear? It's their bear now. Why not wage war on them and get it back? Well, at least Tombury too will have skin. Wait, it's still do it doesn't say Tombury 2. It's, it's still Tombury 1. Maybe it's at the end of the season that will update. Oh, that's a close fault. Team Purple was all in on opening the beach, huh? Well, we didn't see this outcome last time. Ignoring advice from various grizzled fishermen, you decide to keep the beach open. Coastal tourism cannot be allowed to suffer. After eating a few more peasants, the shark will simply grow bored and swim away. Lojak's prediction does not come to pass. More and more people vanish from the beach, leaving nothing but red circles in the water. 
Soon enough, nobody dares to visit. There's a catastrophic decline in tourism, and as more sharks gather, the fish stocks dwindle too. Oh, would you look at that? It's time for another auction. Start the auction. Think fast. Throw your funds away, and then also give me bits. We've only got one vote so far on a monument for the Counts. Okay, there we go. Twenty-five seconds left. Oh, you're all bloody eBay sniping. You're just you're waiting for the timer to go down and getting in a last-minute big bid. They're the people I despise on eBay. Okay, and let, oh no, there was one last minute vote there. There was, there was two seconds to spare. I didn't see who it was, but something did. So a monument raised authority for the counts and a fortress raised military for the chiefs. Rebellion report. Babies, almost babies, not babies. Food riots, that sounds promising. About your heir. You get along well enough, you've made some good memories together, but there's no spark. He only cares about his stupid books. Okay. You need an heir. Yes, I know you do. We'll have a child together. I shall simply bludgeon him with the book unless he agrees. So, long march north. Oh, they're telling me about the horn. Please explain. A horn gifted to mortals during the Cursed Age. It's a real horn. My sources confirm it. It's said to have the power to destroy any fortifications with a single toot. That doesn't sound good. We need to stop them before they retrieve it. A great host of warrior heroes to journey to the waste. You must act fast in stopping them. Okay. Chief Balmog. Forbid the northern armies from entering the frozen waste, ban all public mentions of the horn, delay the scheme for a season, or allow the chiefs to continue building up their forces. I shall veto allowing them to continue building their forces. Vote away! Now it's even so far. Still leaving. Eight six, oh nine six. You're not allowed to go into the ice giant territory. That seems to be the winner. Yep. You think a piece of paper will stop us? I can't read. Although your decree discourages a few law-abiding northern warriors, you cannot stop them by law alone. It did drop their military, though. Okay, food riots. We're in present-day UK. Riots are breaking out. Stability is teetering. Send in the army to control the riots. Import mass food from Tavalin and Kurth. The patricians should buy surplus grain from the counts or order grain supplies to be diverted from the east. Um, I'm going to allow anonymous voting and let it ride because I'm not sure what the best option here for me is. I should sim simply let everyone fight amongst themselves. Looking like that 60% roll in the military is going to win. Six. 
send in the army. How does the army do? They succeeded. Trade is back up to being a monopoly and stability is now more stable. I allow myself to introduce myself. Someone voted to start a rebellion. So it's all down to that bloody bear, isn't it? The chiefs are celebrating the recent victory against ice giants, smashing steins together and, sing and singing battle songs. Did you see that giant's face when I cut him down? Poor blighted blighter? Never felt a heated axe before. So much loot! Never mind the horn, look at all this gold! Some chiefs have more wealth. Never has a more true Valinor, Valinor line been spoken, incidentally. The chiefs take turns drinking meat out of Old Held's horn. When dawn breaks, they stumble into the main hall where Chief Yora has beckoned them. It's time to get serious. And vote on how it's to be used. Team Blue? Threaten to destroy the kingdom's food supply or sneak into the capital and collapse the palace on the monarch's head. It's basically deciding your phase 3 scheme. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd all go that way. Unanimous. A bit too sneaky for my liking, but it'll get the job done. I'm sure we convinced the Queen to relax a few restrictions here and there for the good of the realm, of course. Lower authority to two or less. And then this will be the next phase for the Patricians Monopoly. Refusing to sell the public land. Bide our time until the Queen's gold runs out. Oh yeah, you can't because it isn't low enough. Aha, the greens have been delayed. I will tax everybody equally. Oh, jazz is rich. We're rich. We're rich. No, Valinor is still Valinor of a second. Tombry is the one who should... I think Paul... Oh, he's not on the list. Tombry is the one who should be dead, but apparently isn't. You see that sack? Oh, two re subs at the same time. Thank you, Willie, and also Pithy. If anyone else wants to do one, it will start a hype train. And 101 bits will set off We're Rich. I think it was 101. Did you see that sack? Silver discovered. Why did I only stop the green? I'm trying to stop everybody equally. Okay, so we have deposits of silver. That's very clearly gold, but whatever. Oh, shells is here. Waves an ancient parchment. The silver belongs to me. The deposit is on our side of the border and this scroll proves it. This could get nasty. The border between the north and east has always been highly contested. The north owns the silver. They claim the first. The east is entitled to it. The paper says so. Or both regions share. Hmm. <laughs> this is going to be a, a nasty vote between the blue team and the, the purple team. I will simply let it ride. Oh, there's one vote in it. Ten seconds. Maledictum was the only one to vote for the North owning the silver. They shouldn't be mad about this, because most of Team Blue is the ones who carried this vote. They're still going to be, though. Exchange wary glances. They don't like each other. As they shake hands, their smiles are very tight. A mysterious one. Oh, a lackluster menagerie. The bear quest continues. If your menagerie is failing to thrive, we thought the bear would be the star of the show, but she just sits in her enclosure looking sad. Oh. She was meant to roam free in the frozen tundra, not getting overheated and being fed sweets. Oh, that's my ideal lifestyle. We wonder if she'd like company. Perhaps the Tatterlands would yield another bear of her type. Find the bear a lover. Bring the bear to live in the royal palace. Or the patrician should put on a grand feast for the bear, which has a 0% chance of succeeding, so I'm going to... Veto that one. Hello, Daniel. 
Um, I'm playing as the person who killed me, so it's not really me. But that's okay. Oh, it's it's getting pretty even. No, <laughs> making it live in the palace is winning. Still close though. Yeah, it's, it's coming to live in the palace. This can only end well. Further denying Green their plot. Both the chiefs and patricians are shocked at the council's deci decision, but the votes are vote. The bear is put on a wagon once more. She increasingly impatient and eats the pets, which she did last time. She'll settle into the palace, hopefully. And enjoy her new bear. It's gonna kill me or be the f the like the cause of the wear bear. Last week, a mysterious wanderer visited the Grand Bazaar. Claimed to be from a distant cloaked city of Sarakin, and she said she had a number of magical artifacts for sale, but lizard, wizard law forbids unlicensed trade of magical goods. Valamir? I humbly request the council grants our Grand Bazaar a license so the coast may benefit from this wanderer's magic. Grant the Bazaar has a 100% chance of success, I think, if I'm reading that right. Invite the Wanderer for a direct audience with the Queen, or refuse to grant a license and send the mysterious Wanderer away. Well, I'll let it write. Yeah, despite having no skin and being narrated as being dead, Tombray is still very much alive, apparently. I think that might be a little bit of a glitch. You know, trying to get me killed by some mysterious wanderer. Mysterious wanderer appears at the court. She bows low, her jewelry clinking and clattering. Behind her, a wizened troll carries her goods. I bring items from the cloaked city available at a most reasonable price. Show me these wondrous creations. Belforth! Nope, that, that's a troll. Yep. I offer a mechanical bird of my own design that can speak, though only in rhyme, and is capable of soaring, soaring through the skies. I can talk, I can fly, I'm an excellent buy. A spyglass that can peer into the future. Okay. An orb that recovered from the tomb of ancient Atesh. It sends all those who look upon it into drowsy, peaceful days. Hmm. Which will you buy? The bird, the spyglass, or the orb? Hmm. Good grief, the orb costs three grand. That must be good. But unfortunately, if I buy the bird, I reach zero money in the game end, so I can't. It has to be the spyglass or nothing. Uh... If I do that option, she's just going to run away or something. There's a team that wants authority to go up, and there's a team that wants authority to go down. If I if I help Team Green a little bit, that might stop Team Blue and Team Purple. I'll take the Spyglass. Okay, what do I see? You see yourself much older, but with the crown still upon your head and an adult hair at your side. The crowd is cheering, cheering until their throats give out as you give a speech to celebrate a decade of peace and prosperity. Your confidence is boosted, and at the next council session, you find yourself speaking more assertively and eloquently than ever before. My authority is credible. Damn it! <laughs> oh, that's possible, yeah. So it's, the purple objective has been achieved. How exquisite! The Queen is drunk with power! We should really show the Queen the true secret of her group. I thought that was the point. Immortality and all that. The secrets are meant to be well kept secret. What if we pulled the wool over our eyes? Well, Team Purple, the final phase of your plot. Do you plan a false immortality ritual that will kill her? 
or induct her with the real secret society of immortal blood drinkers. Uh, no matter which one you pick here, you've already got it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so it's going to be raise own farming, which is currently maxed out, so that's good. Prepare for the ritual. The final stage of the scheme, they, they must keep their farming above at 10 for one full season. I think they're on their track to be winning again. Don't I owe the pleasure, Madam Treasurer? Start this up, shall we? Where do I sign? Here and here and here. Okay, but what, what did they get? The Queen's gold is running out. The treasurer is willing to sell off the kingdom's roads and bridges. Okay, so Team Green, what's your third stage? Turn the Queen into our proud corporate mascot. Or mercilessly extract wealth from the kingdom until it collapses. Raise stability or lower authority. Okay. Raise stability. We need to make sure the kingdom's in a nice, comfortable rut. Stability of at least eight. That's uh, pretty high. It's a six. Hmm. Well, that's a gamble one. Let's take swing boats. I'm just, I'm just curious how that's going to play out. Oh, I know what Valinar means. He sees the only uh, the only way out is being to rebel. No silver. Third week in a row with no silver, why are the miners spending all their time playing this rock ball? It was your miners who invented rock ball! Well, can't do that one. Build a fence, ban rock ball, or host an official rock ball tournament. I'll use... No, this isn't important enough to use swing ball on. Just do whatever. Stability or authority is a 60 and a 50% gamble. There's one vote. Oh, there's one vote in it the other way around now. No. Okay, it's looking like host the rock ball tournament is going to win with a 60% stability roll. The roll has failed. Defiance can't go any higher. Defiance is aloof. Authority is dubious. I see. So who has escaped? Oh wait, the bear has escaped. Your new pet bear has escaped. She ate one of them before bursting through the bars. It's almost like you can't domesticate a bear. It was full of you to keep a bloodthirsty beast in the palace. It's roaming the city streets. We have to do something before anyone else gets eaten. The queen should recapture the bear alone. Put a bounty out on the bear or let the bear roam free. I'm going to do swing votes. After voting, nobles can change their minds and vote for a different option. There you go. How's this gonna go? <clears throat> wow. Freedom for bear. Okay, uh, you have swing votes. I don't know if, like, is it just open? I'm going to press continue in 5, 4, 3, 2... Oh, someone changed. Okay, well... <laughs> best of luck. You ride out armoured with your best spear into the Blackwood Forest. Though your mercenaries ride at your side, it's still an unsettling quiet. You hear the rustling of the bear followed by a blood-curdling roar. Challenge failed. 
She makes short work of the mercenaries, disemboweling one and biting the head off another in a matter of moments. Her horse pulls away and that's probably what saves you. You return to the palace terrified and bloodstained. Stability has gone down. So we get for voting for Team Green. If you did, that is. You know, and the blue team is rebelling. City in flames. What caused this fire? A warehouse was storing oil. Well, that was just unsavory. Okay, uh, I don't really have funds. Offer no help or introduce warehouse regulations so this never happens again. Starvolt. The bear is free now, it's the world's bear now, yeah. Never forget, the bear will get you. It's perfect. Oh, no, no, anymore. One vote in it. Okay, the regulations are in. Authority is credible. Defiance is grumbling and some courts have lost money. That's honestly a pretty good result. And their trade's gone down by one. Right, that was the end of the season. Continue to rebellion report. The kingdom is rebelling. The first side to earn five victory points will win. Victory points are earned through events. If the rebels are victorious, the monarch is overthrown. Okay. So there is a chance. It's, it's So it's mutiny then. The eternal monarch? Oh wait, purple has one. But doesn't that mean that this is now queen forever? You recognize the symbol of the Count's secret society along with the message your heart quickens in exchange for control of the throne you shall live forever it's your time your eternity shall begin you got here just in time to see the same team win again good news I hope eh, nothing you need to worry about and nightfall when you arrive hurries you inside you blink in the document I hope you have refreshments Oh, I see, you're all vampires. <clears throat> Robed figures circle around you, their faces hidden. As they chant, their voices echo through the chamber. And, okay, yeah. They're all vampires! An exchange? Yes, uh, I'm ready. The chalice is filled with blood. I will. Take that team blue in particular. Immortality, eternity, blood. <laughs> your reign is over, but your immortal, immortal life has only just begun. Only the beginning achievement unlocked. For immortality, Queen Matilda was happy to give up the throne. She retreated to a dark sanctum in the east, joining the elder counts in hiding from inquisitors and the sun. The chiefs, led by Ozium, launched a rebellion that accomplished nothing besides distracting the queen while cunning schemers took the throne. The patricians attempted to buy the kingdom. It ended in failure. Bankruptcies were filed, marks were scratched in secret ledgers. The risk-reward calculus wasn't favourable. Perhaps next time. Before abdicating, Queen Matilda made it very clear that Odin was the legitimate heir. The other nobles could never work out how the counts had pulled it off. Meanwhile, in the east, a secret society was expanded by one member. Queen Matilda the baby kicker? <laughs> what? Successed by his successor, King Odin. Wealthiest noble was Jazz. Poorest noble was Daniel. And as the kingdom starts in rebellion, I'm sure it's fine. Exit game. I didn't kick any babies, I'm aware of. So the real question is, when we do another one of these, do we continue the dynasty again, or do we start a brand new one to have new factions? Because I presume once you start a new one, you can't go back to a previous one. So I'm not sure. New factions? 
Well, either way, we're going to end this one here for YouTube. That was another full game, and the counts win again.